welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started lord i come before you humble give me thanks and give me your praise lord thank you and thanking you and praising you for who you are in my life and in your people's lives in the mighty name of jesus thanking you and praising you for your love for your grace and your mercy oh god thank you for being a sacrifice for our sins oh god thank you for your blood oh god that cleanses us and washes us oh god whiter than snow oh god in the mighty name of jesus oh god that you will present us before the father as spotless without a spot and without a blemish because of you because we receive in you you're going to do that for us oh god thank you jesus and i ask holy spirit that you word my mouth touch the people ears to hear and their heart to receive your word in the mighty name of jesus if they don't know you give them a heart of repentance in Jesus name amen before we get started don't forget to subscribe leave a comment hit the notification bell please share these videos anything about this video that was positive to you hit the like button with that being said let's move on Spirit of God told me in prayer the crash he said crash soon crash soon so I'm on here to give you guys this warning the start market going to crash and the spirit of god says going to be soon so if you have not taken heed to the food shortage to the situation with the banks i advise you to take heed to this to take heed to it because he said crash soon the stock market is getting ready to crash soon and when that take place all H-E-L-L -L is going to take place. God has been sending warning out through his prophets, through his people, warning the people, what time is it? What seasons, the season that we're going into? Now I can say what season we're in right now. Just this morning as I was riding to the store, he began to tell me the feeder bands are in. The, he always gave me an example of a hurricane. He said the feeder bands are in. An example of the feeder bands, he has turned the house over to the Republicans. That's just to show, that's just the beginning on what he's getting ready to do. God is, he is here. He's here. Before when his prophets and his people was telling, sending warning, it was like, we were speaking parables to the people. They didn't understand because they didn't belong to God. Just like he all he been reminding me lately. He said they would see, but they would not perceive. He said they would hear, but they won't understand. And that's what's been going on. He has been sending warning, warnings out through his prophets and his people. What's getting ready to take place? But a lot of people is not believing. And they're not believing because they don't belong to him. So they can't see and they can't hear. They can't perceive it. And they can't understand what we're saying. God is getting ready to show exactly what he's been talking about. And this is just an example on what's to come. The Republican has taken back the house. So therefore, we have to look for retaliation. Retaliation is coming and the people best and the people must be prepared for it. Get prepared, says the Lord, because the stock market is going to crash and it's going to happen soon. So not only is it going to be judgment, it's going to, he's going to bless his people. So it's going to be judging and it's going to be blessings in the same season. So must been in my spirit for the last couple of days is that this song, Lord, whatever doing in this season don't do it without me even if it's judgment because he said in psalms 91 that with my eyes with our eyes we shall see the reward of the wicked so even if we're not if we're not in christ we won't even witness the reward of the wicked we'll see it as something else so i advise you even in and the body of Christ, I advise you, don't get distracted because God is getting ready to do a mighty work upon this earth. 
And you want to witness it all. You want to witness the blessings. And he said you're going to witness the reward of the wicked. That's the judgment. And even as he began to judge, you have to be careful on what you're doing and what you're saying. Because you don't want to get caught up in it. You don't want to get caught up in the judgment. It reminds me of Genesis 19. I'm going to go to 12. Genesis 19, 12. This is concerning Sodom and Gomorrah. It says, the two men said to Lot, do you have anyone else in here? Because the angels told them, leave, because God is getting ready to judge. He, they say, leave, take, take your daughters, take your son-in-laws, take your wife, and leave Lot. Because God is getting ready to judge. So 12 say, the two men said to Lot, do you have, any, these are the angels, do you have anyone else here? Son-in-law, sons, or daughters, or anyone else in the city who belongs to you. Get them out of here because we are going to destroy this place. The outcry of the Lord against his people is so great that he has sent us to destroy it. 14 says, so Lot went out and spoke to, to his son-in-laws who were pledged to marry his daughters. He said, hurry and get out of this place because the Lord is about to destroy the city. But his son-in-laws, his son-in-laws thought he was joking. 15, with the coming of the dawn, the angels urged Lot saying, hurry, take your wife and your two daughters who are here and you will be swept and you will be swept away when the city is punished. When he hesitated, because he, he, he was hesitant about it. When he hesitated, the men, the angels, grasped his hand and the hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them safely out of the city. For the Lord was merciful to them. At 17, as soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, flee for your lives. Do not look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. In the plain. Flee the mountains or you will be swept away. Well, God judged that. But the thing I want you to take from that is the son-in-laws. They thought it was a joke. They thought it was a joke. They took it for granted. Like, are you joking? Now the angel said that the Lord was getting ready to destroy it, to get ready to judge it. So when God is judging something, make sure that you're in the right position. Make sure that you don't think it's a joke. Because when you think it's a joke and you, and you take it lightly, you get caught up in the judgment. The son-in-laws got caught up in the judgment. And when God destroyed God, Sodom and Gomorrah, he destroyed them. God wanted to save them. God wanted to save his people. God still want to save his people. So I'm telling you now, he's here to judge and to bless. But we have to be positioned. His people got to be positioned to receive the blessing. And to watch the judgment, but don't get caught up in it. Because Psalms 91 says that we will witness with our own eyes. We will witness the reward of the wicked. Because the wicked, the wicked has a reward coming for them. Coming to them. And God said we will witness that. But just make sure as the body of Christ. That you are in the right place. That you got it right with God. And that you know that judgment is judgment. That your eyes and your understanding will be open. Your eyes will be open. Your ears will be able to understand. That you would, whatever you would hear, that you would understand in the mighty name of Jesus. So I come on for this warning and I pray that the people would take heed to it. And if you don't know God as your Lord, if you don't know the Lord as your Savior, that you repent of your sins, confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, and ask Him to lead you and guide you to all truth and to our righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus, that your eyes will be open, that you will see and that you will perceive, that you will hear and that you will understand in the mighty name of Jesus. Until next time, don't forget, repent.